Hey guys, just wanted to get on here and share a little tip, a little something I figured out here today. Got a uh, fully heat treated knife here. It's hardened, tempered, uh, came out to 662 Rockwell hardness. It had eighth inch holes and I wanted to drill those a little bit bigger, but now my drill bits will touch it. it it's way too hard and uh, I don't have an oxyacetylene set up. Don't, my, my blowtorch is crap, so. I kind of figured out here, take a round rod, round it off like that, throw that in your drill press, and uh, kind of use that like you would any drill bit, <clears throat> and it'll heat up right there where you want it. It'll get red hot right where you want it, and works perfect. Heats it up, softens that area, and doesn't heat up the rest of the knife. Um, but I'll, I'll show y'all here, turn the camera around, move it. All right, so we got it chalked up in the drill press. You can see I already did it with one hole. I'm gonna show y'all how to do it with this one. Turn it off so I can see. Turn your drill press as high as it'll go. Gotta kind of find that sweet spot where it won't bog down. Sometimes that little bit right there will get stuck in there and you gotta knock it out, but now you let that cool off, throw a drill bit in there and I'll show you how good it works. All right, got the drill bit in there. Got it cooled down, a little bit of cut and hole. Don't forget to turn your drill press back down. There you go. Now that bit would not touch this before but there you go thought that might help somebody out there maybe it's common knowledge maybe i'm dumb but help me out a lot the uh, bonus tip is i'm going to pick up my daughter here don't wear a white shirt in the shop you will get cutting oil on it and ruin it but uh it was just an idea i had I wanted to go out there and try it out and it worked out good for me it's probably not the best for your drill press uh, Put in a pinch, maybe it'll help you out. Uh, but just thought I'd get on here and share that. Let me know what y'all think. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one.